Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we're going to go through the page two of the Ahsanul Qawaid. So last lesson I helped you say the letters a bit better. So I taught you how the letters should sound. So this lesson we're going to focus a lot more on how to remember these letters now. So I'm going to explain a bit more to do with how to remember these letters and how to read them. Okay. So if you, if you haven't watched the previous video about how to say these letters and how these letters should sound, make sure you watch the previous video first before watching this. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so one thing I need to tell you before we start is when, uh, when you learn the f one line of this page, you have to make sure that you can say it forwards and you can say it backwards as well. Then when you go on to the next line, you need to do the same thing. You need to be able to read it forwards and then you need to be able to read it backwards. And before you can move on to the third line now, you need to be able to read both lines together. So you need to be able to read the first line and then you need to be able to say the second line. Before you can move on to the third, so then once you can do that, then you move on to the third line. Once you can read all three lines together, only then you can move on to the fourth line. So like they say all of them together before you start a new line. So just keep, keep that in mind. And now we're going to start inshallah. First letter. So I'm going to mention this in the next video as well. So I'm just gonna mention this now as well. So there are three types of letters. Number one, the lonely one, which doesn't have a pair, just comes by itself. Number two, the one that has a pair. So you'll see that there's another letter that has exactly the same shape as that one. So these are the pairs ones, but the dot will be different. So they'll either have one dot or two dots, etc. And number three, there's some letters that come in a group. So there won't be just two of them. There'll be three of them that have the same shape. Okay, but the dots will be different. So you have three types of letters. The lonely ones that don't have a pair. Number two, the ones that have a pair and have, there's another one that with exactly the same shape and number three, those that come in a group. Okay, so let's start. So if you look on the first line, you can follow in the screen, you can follow in the book as well. So the first letter is Aleph. And make sure you're saying these letters after me, by the way. So the first letter is Aleph. Good. Next letter is a group letter. So th there's three of them with the same shape. Okay, so it looks like a boat shape, doesn't it, this one? So this is a ba. Say it with me. Ba. So the ba has one dot at the bottom. The way you can remember this, ba has one dot, meaning one person drowning underneath the boat. Yeah? So ba is the letter that has one person drowning underneath the boat. Now look at the next letter. Say it with me. Ta. Say the letter with me. Ta. This one has two dots on top. How do you remember this? Remember the, the word two. So it has one dot, two dots, four, ta. See the ta, ta, two, four, ta. So remember the two, okay? So the ta has the same shape, same boat shape, but this one has two people on top. So say it with me, ta. Make sure that t, I shouldn't hear a her sound in there, okay? Next one. So again, the same shape. So this is a group letter, isn't it? So this one has three dots, three. And how do you remember this? Three dots for th. Are you able to touch your tongue? Th. Three dots for th. See how all of these letters, the shape is the same, but the dots are different. So as soon as you, when you change the dots, the letter changes as well, okay? Okay, so let's do a bit more practicing on these three letters. I'm going to take out my magic pen. It's here. And I'm going to take out my magic whiteboard, which you'll see on the screen now. Okay. So I'm going to draw this shape on the screen with my magic pen. So I've drawn the boat shape. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some dots to it. And you have to read the letter before me. So before I say it, I want you to quickly um, say, the, uh, say the name of the letter. If I'm faster than you, what you need to do is afterwards you need to rewind the video, watch it again and see if you're faster than me the second time. Okay. Understood? Good. So now I'm going to, I've drawn the shape. I'm going to put two dots on it. So put one dot over here, one dot over here. Which letter is this? 
two dots for ta. Good. Two dots for ta. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my magic pen and I'm going to draw on the screen. I'm going to draw one more dot. What does it become? Three dots for tha. If you touch your tongue, tha. Good. Take my magic eraser from the other side. And then I'm going to erase one of the dots. So three of the dots. And I'm going to put one dot at the bottom. What does it become? Yes, good. So this one has one person drowning at the bottom, doesn't it? So this is a ba. Ba. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to erase that again. But three dots on top this time. One, two, three. Well, what does it become? Tha. Good. Erase one dot. What does it become? Ta. Good. Erase both dots, but one at the bottom. What does it become? Ba. Good. Okay. If you need more practice on this, you can pause the video and change the dots around yourself and see if you if you can quickly say all the um, letters. Okay. Good. So we're ready to move on now. Now the next three letters have the same shape. So this is a group letter. So there's three of them that have exactly the same shape, but the dots are different. Okay. So the first letter is G. The first letter is G. So with one dot in the middle. Okay. So we've done line number one. Now let's go to line number two. Now the next two letters have exactly the same shape. The next two letters have exactly the same shape, but what's the difference? Tell me the difference. Yes, the dots are different, isn't it? Jim had one dot at the bottom. Next letter is a ha. Say from the middle of the throat with me. Ha. If you can't do that, pretend you're warming your hand up. Put your hand over here and warm your hand up. Do this. Ha. 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 You should be able to feel the warmth in your hand, okay? So, how many dots does a ha have? Good, it doesn't have any dots. Yeah, so when you erase the dot from the gene, it turns into a ha. Good. Now, what if you decide to put a dot on top now? What does it become? The next letter. How do I say that? Ho. Good. Turns into a ho. Remember the full mouth and not to make your lips round? Put your finger there if you have to. Ho. Ho. With an o sound at the end. Ho. Not ha. Ho. Okay, good. So let's do some more practicing of these three letters on the magic whiteboard. So I'm going to put the whiteboard up now on the screen. Okay, so let me draw the shape. So I'm going to draw the line on top and the curly line at the bottom. Okay, so I haven't put any dots on it yet. What letter is it? Try and say it before me. It is a ha. Make sure you say it from the throat though. Don't say ha, ha. I'm going to say that's a mistake. You have to say ha. Good. Now let's say if I decide to put a dot on top, what does it become? It becomes a ho. Good. Perfect. I'm going to erase this dot. Put the dot on the bottom. Now what does it become? Say it before me. G. Good. Let's try another one. I'm going to erase the dot. What has it just become? Say before me. Ha. Good. Okay, one more try. I'm going to erase the dot and put you on top again. What does it become? Ho. Good. Okay, so if you need more practice in this, you can either rewind the video and watch this part again, or you can take a piece of paper and change the dots around yourself, and you can write and you can see if you can say all the um, letters. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back to our page. So we're in line number two. So we've done ha and we've done ho. Now the next letter is a pair letter. So it has a friend. So you'll see there's two of them with exactly the same shape. So it has one line there and it has another line like that. It's like a curly line. The first one doesn't have a dot and the second one does have a dot. The first one is, say it with me, dal. Let's say it again. Dal with a d, so like doctor. D, d, dal. And the next one, the copycat, yeah, 
it has exactly the same shape, but it has a dot this time. And remember, those that have the same shape, but they copy each other, they'll rhyme as well. So this one will rhyme with dal. So how do I say this one? I need your finger for this one. Put your finger and you should be able to touch your tongue. Say dal. Touch your tongue. The, the, like this. Then see my tongue? Your tongue should come out just past your front two teeth. Dal, with a th. Good. Dal. So, dal, the first one, without a dot, with a dot. Dal. Perfect. Now, the next two letters, again, they're copycats. And they are a pair, which means they have the same shape, and they rhyme as well. But, the first one is a full mouth letter. That's why you can see an F on the screen. So make it full mouth by adding an O at the end. So this one will be RO. Say it with me. So it has, I should hear a R, R sound as well. RO. RO. It's like a line, you know, when it roars. It's like that sound. So don't say RA, RA. Say RO. RO. Like that. Okay, now the next one has exactly the same shape. And kind of rhymes, but it's not full mouth. The next one is empty mouth. That's why there's no F on the screen. So the way you say this one is, has a buzzing sound. Z, Z. Practice it with me. Z. So I should hear a very strong, very loud Z sound. Okay, so the one without the dot is R. The one with a dot is Z. Okay, good. Now the next two, again, the copycats, they have the same shape. So they come in a pair. So the one without the three dots is, say it with me, seen. So it has a s, s, a snake sound, snake, yeah? The S sound. So say it with me, seen, seen. And the next one with the three dots now is, sh, has a sh sound. You know when someone's talking too much? And then tell them to shh, that sound. Sheen, sheen. See the rhyme, doesn't it? The one without the dot, seen. Say it with me, seen. The one with the three dots is sheen, sheen. Good. Now the next two, again, they're copycats. So they have the same shape and they rhyme. One doesn't, the first one doesn't have a dot and the second one does have a dot. Okay, so how do I say the first one? So this is full mouth, remember? So you add an O at the end without making your lips round. Don't say, and don't say W in it either, okay? So re repeat after me, put your finger there if it helps you, like this. Sword. Repeat after me. Sword. Saw. See how, see how I'm saying a saw? I'm not saying sw, sw. That'll be a big mistake. Okay, don't add the w. Look what happens to my lips when I say w. Sw, sw. It becomes round, isn't it? So that so that's what happens if you make your lips round. Uh, you'll be saying a w. Okay, so that that's not going to be correct. So make, look at my lips now. It's going to be straight as a ruler. So say after me. Sword. Good. So the next one with a dot. Remember, it rhymes with sword. It will be repeated. Say it with me, ward, ward, ward. So it rhymes, doesn't it? So without the dot, sword. With a dot, ward. Okay, good, perfect. Okay, that's the first three lines done. Okay, so the next line. So the next line is. Say it with me. So look, no lips round. The lips aren't round. And I'm not saying twa, twa, twa. Okay. Lips as it is. And I gave, I put an O at the end because it's a full math letter, isn't it? So say it with me. Do, do. See, I'm not saying twa, twa. I'm saying do, do. Like that. Now this is again a copycat letter, so it has a friend, isn't it, that has exactly the same shape. How do I say that one? Say it with me. So this, it will rhyme, but this time, I need your tongue again. So put your tongue past your front two teeth, touch your tongue, 
wo, wo. So don't say zo, zo. There's two mistakes that people make in this. First mistake, instead of saying v, v without the tongue, they say z, zo. Yeah? Second mistake, they added wow. So they say wo, wo. That's the both mistakes, okay? So make sure you don't say a z sound with a z. And don't make sure you don't say a w either. So look at me, lips straight as it is, tongue past your front two teeth, whoa, whoa. Yeah? So the first one without a dot is to, to. With, a, with a dot, whoa, whoa. Okay, good, perfect. Now the next two again, the copycat letters. So you look, the next two, they have the same shape, isn't it? It has like a small head and a big belly. Small head and a big belly. So these two, what we call the first one, without the dot, we call that an rain. We call that an rain from the middle of the throat. Okay, so if you say ain, ain, the teacher will tell you that you got it wrong. So don't just say ain. Okay, so you need to try your very, you need to try very hard to try and say it from the middle of the throat. It's like a this sound. Okay, so try and say it with me. Rain, rain, like that. Okay, so even if you can't say it now, you have to show your teacher that you're trying your best to say it. So if you go to your teacher and say, Ain, which shows that you're not trying at all, the teacher will tell you you're wrong. But even if, let's say, you can't say it right now, but you, you show your teacher that you're trying your hardest to say it, then that's fine. But okay, so let's say it together one more time. Say it after me, say it with me. Rain. Good. Next one is a full mouth letter. So you can't say a ah, ah sound, it has to be an o oh sound, okay? So this one comes from the top of the throat. So it's, it's like a gargling sound, like that sound, okay? So say it with me, roin. Say it with me, roin. Good, so I'm not, and notice I'm not saying ra, rain, with an a, ah. I'm saying ro. Ro, put an O at the end, like all the other full math letters. Roin. Okay, good. So without the dot, say it with me. Rain. With the dot, say it before me. Roin. Good. And the last one is a lonely one now. So it doesn't have a pair. So this one comes by itself. This is fa, like an F in English. Fa. Okay, good. So that's line number four done. Once you know all these lines perfectly, only then move on to the next line. Okay. So let's start the fifth line now. Okay, this one is a very difficult letter as well. You have to um, try your best to try and say this letter. Okay, so this one, repeat it with me, or before me if you can. Say, off. Say, off. With a th, th sound, isn't it? So right from the back of the mouth. Try and, say the, try and say the letter louder, okay? If you say it louder, it will help you say it a bit better. So if you're really quiet, like, cough, 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 cough. You won't, be able to, you won't be able to say the letter properly. So what you do, try and go, without shouting, try and say it as loudly as you can. So do this. So practice doing that. Say it with me. And again, make sure, remember it's a full math letter, isn't it? And um, so say oh sound. Another thing, your lips, don't say w. Love many students they say quaff, quaff, quaff. That's wrong. Because you're adding a w to it. Yeah? And don't say it's not don't say calf or cough. I need to hear the b, b sound. So try it again. Off. Let's try it again. Lips. Off. Good. Next one again, it's a lonely letter, so it doesn't have a pair. It doesn't have a friend, so it comes by itself. So this one is like a cat in English. It's with a k, say, calf. Say, calf, with a k. Okay, good. Next one, these are easy by the way. Next one is with a l sound. So say, lamb. Say, lamb. Good. Next one is meme, with a m, m sound meme and the last one on this line is with a n so it's noon 
noon. Okay. And the last line now, these are again the lonely letters, they don't have any pairs. So repeat it with me, or say before me if you can. The first one is wow. The first one is wow. The second one is ha. The second, uh, the second one is ha. Notice with this one, you have to make sure you don't say the ha sound. So make sure I don't hear that. So don't say ha. Ha. This has to come right from the bottom of the throat. Okay? So there shouldn't be any ha sound in it. So it has to be as soft as possible. So like this. Listen carefully. Ha. 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 Like that. Okay, next letter. Hamza. Hamza. And the last letter finally is ya. Okay, good. So now we've done all the letters. You need to make sure that you can say all of these letters perfectly, okay? If you struggle with any letters, keep on saying that one letter. So you're not allowed to move on to the next page until you can say all of these letters perfectly. So keep on practicing letters every single day as much as you can. And try, and, try your hardest to say all the letters exactly as I've shown you um, in this video.